School districts across the valley are warning of a new TikTok trend that's causing damage on school campuses. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kariba Devine. From middle school through high school, districts say that they've had issues of students stealing things from campus and then posting it on social media. As Team 12's Colleen Sikora tells us, it's even having repercussions for students who are not participating. With a tap, scroll, and like, social media connects the universe to our fingertips. But this week, the TikTok world met Leanna Dennison's Mesa School. Why would you want a bathroom soap dispenser? A challenge on the app has students licking things, taking them from school grounds, and posting about it. Generally, it happens in bathrooms. Mesa Public Schools said in a letter to parents it's happening in the district, and the consequences for stealing or destroying school property are severe. Districts across the valley, including Chandler Unified, Tempe Union, Kyrene Elementary, Peoria Unified, Deer Valley Unified, and more, all said it's happening on their campuses too. Higley High School's principal sent an email to families saying their bathrooms would be limited and monitored because of the trend. I went to go use the restroom the other day, like, and that's when I couldn't find one because all of them are locked. Leanna goes to Summit Academy Junior High, where she and her mom, Becky, say restrooms are also limited. It's just really frustrating because we, I've asked a lot of questions and it turns out like there is a line to use the restroom in the nurse's office, but you can only go during lunch. Mesa Public Schools hasn't responded to 12 News' questions about limiting bathroom access, while a TikTok spokesperson says they're removing the content and redirecting hashtags related to the challenge. It's just the latest teens are trying, from eating Tide Pods or as much salt as they can or using chemicals for things they're not intended for. While those can have, at minimum, health consequences, this challenge has some districts bringing in police. But I think that this is a real hard hit, that real world consequences and actions are, are coming now, and hopefully we won't see another trend like this. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.